YouTube. It's your girl, Really Really TV, coming at you with a cooking video today. Today, I'm going to be frying some whole catfish. I'm going to actually use this New Orleans fish fry with the real lemon added. You don't even need no extra seasoning with this one. Um, you pretty much don't need nothing because it got salt already in it and all kinds of other seasonings, and it's tasty already by itself. So, first, I'm going to start out. Well, I already know. Washed off the fish, so it's washed already, so it's already clean. I pre cleaned that fish, and what I'm gonna do is pat it dry because it's actually pretty wet. So I'm gonna pat it dry, and then I'm gonna take my fish, and I'm gonna cut it on to like, let me see, I'm gonna cut it on. Well, I hate frying food, but I'm gonna cut it on to probably like, let's see if y'all can see. I'll cut it on to like. Uh, I'll put it right there. I don't want it too high. But um, this is the oil I already have in the pan, ready to go ahead and start frying. This is the the fish fry already inside of the bowl. I got extra just in case I run out, but I doubt I will, because it's only three pieces of whole catfish. So right now I'm gonna blot it dry. Not too dry, but just a little bit dry, but because I still wanted to be able to actually still hold that coating because I don't want it too dry, then it won't hold nothing. This sucker pretty slippery. <laughs> so just trying to make it a little dry. And I don't like my catfish to be too big. This is like the perfect size because when it be too big, it be looking too, I don't like them too big. This is like the perfect size catfish for me. I mean, ooh, I love this size. It's gonna be real tasty. I already know. So that should be good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and start coating the first fish and see how we get that. You see how these look? See right there? So I don't know if you can see it real good, but that's the cat whole catfish. Not the fillets, the whole catfish, because I like the whole catfish. Yep. And I don't like them too big. It's like the perfect size. Perfect size. You see that? I'm just gonna toss it in that bowl. Coat it real good. I'm even gonna coat the inside of this part right here. I don't know if you see the little flat part right here, I'm gonna go put some, some of that coating in there too so I can get the coating all the way around that sucker. Cause I want it to be crispy as possible. Oh snap, I'm wasting it. Hold up. <laughs> don't wanna make no mess. But I'm trying to coat the inside. Shoot, get the whole thing coated, boy. Coat that sucker up. Mm. That grease still heating up over here on the stove, so it ain't even ready yet. So I got time enough to cut. One thing I hate about these catfish, they got so many bones, though. Because, you know, the fillets is way less. You barely find a bone in the fillet. I mean, you may find a couple, but you don't find, really find no bones in the fillets like that. I like cat. I got catfish nuggets, too, but I don't know. Something about this whole catfish, though, it just do something for me. For sure. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I already know. I already know. I already know. I already know. I can tell. I can tell. Mm. Ooh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's about ready to go, but the grease ain't ready to go, so we can't do nothing with that. So, right now, I'm just gonna coat it as much as I can because some of it's still coming off a little bit. Let me see. And I kind of want to like shake it as much as possible to try to get that excess off. But I still want to cover it everywhere. Anywhere that's damp, shoot, I'm trying to cover that sucker. Make sure nothing, you know, let's dress it up. Cover that mug. Go in between the little fin and all. Little bones, whatever you want to call it, shoot. Go in between all that. I like this fish fry right here because you ain't got to add nothing to it, shoot. I used to add some to it. That make it too salty. I don't like all that. I, I just like it to just be tasty by itself. You don't need all that. Catfish just delicious. Delicious. Shoot, I'm glad I didn't use no extra because I really don't. I ain't even using it but half of the bag. Shoot, I got half of the bag still left over. Because I actually used this same fish fry to fry my fried green tomatoes. And I'm going to show you that in another video. Because I fry my fried green tomatoes with this same fish fry. But I add a little flour with it. So change it up a little bit but 
This gonna be good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's coated pretty well. Best I can. Kind of pat it down though. Waiting on that grease. Kind of scatter that grease, boy. Cause that grease be popping. Let me see if I can um find some to lay this on real quick. this right here this little piece of pan thing right here that way it can just you know what i'm saying rest right there until the grease ready so i can coat the rest of the fish so that's what it's looking like so far and i'm gonna do the next one just like that it don't got kind of wet though i'm gonna damp this one off a little bit damp it off or dry it off a little bit block that sucker a little bit because it's just too wet I want it wet, but not that dang on wet. Just enough so it can stick to the meat, to the fish, to the flesh. Yeah, don't need to overly do it. Just enough. Ooh, I love whole fried catfish. My favorite to eat. I'm, I'm, I'm usually cooking like the fillets. I don't usually cook the whole ones, but the whole ones is my favorite. I usually buy the whole ones in like the restaurants, but shoot, I see them in the grocery store. I'm like, man, I'm finna get that. Let's go ahead and add the next one in. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, just coat it. Pretty much just coat it, coat it, coat it. Coat it with that seasoning fish fry mix. That uh, Louisiana New Orleans style with the lemon added. Man, my favorite. To fry my fish in, it's tasty. So I'm gonna go in and coat the whole thing like I did the last one. And it's gonna come out pretty good. Just like the last one did. Hoping that it fried to like a nice golden color. I don't wanna do hope I got enough grease in the pan to be honest. But I don't want to put too much grease because I got to use that grease for something else and that fish be wasting all the grease because I throw that fish grease away immediately. Because I can't stand fish grease in my house. I throw all grease away immediately, actually. Because I don't like no grease in my house. Not not grease that been used anyway. So, well, oil. I don't know if y'all, I call it grease. Because I'm from the south, you know, country. So, it's grease to me. Oil, y'all call it. I don't know. See how that coming up? Coat it pretty well. I don't know if you can see, see, see. Coat it pretty well. Got the fin, got the inside, got that going, coating. You know what I'm saying? Pat that sucker down. Ooh, got that tail. Shake that sucker off like that. You know what I'm saying? Put it right there. Hold up. I just want to leave it more right there. I'll adjust that off in a minute, but go ahead and do the next one while that grease is heating up because it's still heating up. I ain't going to be long before it's ready, though. I'll tell you that much. So let's do this one. See the inside of it like look like that. And it's kind of like spread open, like it look like it been butterfly or something. I don't know, but I guess they had a butterfly to get the guts out or whatever. I don't know if fish got guts or whatever. I ain't never seen the inside of fish. I don't know, but they got something out. <laughs> it had to be the guts. I guess it had to be something, but it's gone. The head gone. Cause if it had a head, I wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> Period. I can't do that. I don't eat. I don't eat no fish with no damn head. Mm-mm. Want that motherfucker looking at me? They just keep it simple. I would have said keep it simple by doing fillets, but I don't want no fillets. I want this whole catfish. Ooh, it's gonna be yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. One of my favorites to eat. I like seafood anyway. Shoot, everything seafood me. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Dust that sucker off. Shoot, that one ready to go too. Scoot that sucker over a little bit. Okay. So now we got all three of the catfish just sitting right there waiting on us. And we about to throw it in that pan. I don't want it to fry too fast though, but I'm about to throw that sucker in that pan real quick and see what it do. 
Because that grease, I can tell it cleaned up. I can smell it. And it's getting ready. It's getting ready. It ain't really bubbling yet, but I can tell. I just know it's hot. They say cooking in the peanut oil. I ain't got no peanut oil. I'm using the vegetable oil. Nope. I, I'm going to try peanut oil one day, but I, I ain't got no peanut oil today. I'm quite sure they give it more flavor with that peanut oil. It's probably making it even more crispy because I know that when you fry a turkey in that peanut oil, it'll be coming out all. Ooh, it's going to be good. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, so I'm quite sure. I think it's still gonna come out tasty either way it go, because I probably like invest for all, all the time. No different. No different. So let's see what that grease looking like over here. That a grease right there. It still ain't bubbling or nothing like that, but this suck again hot though. It getting hot. It getting there. It getting there. We're gonna see what it do. We're gonna see what it do. We're gonna definitely see what it's gonna do. Having a little malfunction, eh? Pretty much. Take this out the way. Put that in the sink. Slide this over here. Mmm. So this is what we're looking at right now. We got the catfish already breaded. You know what I'm saying? Ready to go in the pan. I think I'm gonna cook one at a time because cooking two is gonna probably make it a problem. I don't know, because these catfish, they ain't big, but I don't know. Let's see if I can fit two in there, but I don't know. Right now, I'm just thinking like one. But I'm beginning to see like some, I don't know, not no bubbles in there, but I see like movement in that oil. I don't know, should I throw some in there? That oil moving by itself like that, that means it's getting hot. I don't want it to burn my fish, because sometimes it can cook too fast, but I'm going to cut the cap down a little bit after it get heated pretty good, because I don't want the sucker to burn my fish. I want it to kind of come out real good. And I'm going to actually drain it on a paper towel so that it won't be oily, so it'll be crispy. But let's see how this going to go. Because it's actually my first time cooking the whole ones. I don't cook the filet, but I ain't never cooked the whole ones. But shoot, I know how to cook. I know how to cook anything, so I ain't worried about that. This grease is uh, about getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. I feel like, shoot. It might be there. Hmm. Maybe I'll test it out. I'll test it out by throwing like a lip pinch. I'm going to get like a little pinch of this right here. You know what I mean? Throw that. Okay, so you see that? You see that? I don't know if y'all see that bubble. So that tells me something. It's ready. It's ready for the first catfish. Finna go in there. He finna go in the grease. Oh snap! I hope I, you know what I'm saying. I'm splashing my ass though. Come on now. Let's see. I'm gonna lay it head like the head first, for, for first, and then drop it in like that and let it fry. Oh snap! Look at that. Let's get closer than that right there. See what that looking like. Okay. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one in too. You know what I'm saying? Matter well. Man, that shit smell good. You about, just lay it down like that, you know what I'm saying? Don't lay it down, don't throw the suck in there. Just lay it down like that and just, you know, gently lay it down. It won't splatter. See how I just did that? It did good. I'm going to cut that down a little bit because I don't want my burn. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Man, this smells so good already. I know what I'm about to do this. Mess it up. <laughs> I don't even want to take the real words and have to do it. It's going to get messed all the way up. Because I'm going to definitely tear that down. Whee! Man. Talking about good eating. Whee! I probably could have put more grease in this mug. But let me, um, I really don't want to move it too much, but I want to kind of see what that bottom looking like. Oh, man, this already could be good shit. I can turn this to the other. I don't know if y'all see this shit, but... Look, I already looking good. Yeah. I already looking like some, like a restaurant. Right, right, right. I already looking like shit. Yeah, looking like it came from a restaurant. But if y'all can get a good glimpse of that mug, but look at that. It's already getting that golden tan good, you know what I'm saying? Like, mmm. Yummy. Yummy in my tummy. 
It's already looking good. The other one, you about to go in that, go in that spider in just a second. I call it a spider because, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to start that how I talk. It's going in that spider in a minute. Make sure I put that, put that tail down a little bit. You, you got to put two boots. Put you two. You know. Get all that goodness in there. I'm gonna leave it like that for a second, then I'm gonna turn it back over because I feel like I need to flip that side some more. And I'm gonna flip it again on the other side. I just wanna keep flipping it just a little bit till I know it's done because the whole catfish is not like a filet, so I wanna make sure the inner part gets cooked real good. So I would say cook it like, I don't know, like three minutes, four minutes on each side. Maybe five. I don't know because I just don't wanna, it ain't gonna be overly cooked, but it's gonna be perfectly cooked, okay? Just chill out. I know what I'm doing. Watch me. Watch and learn, people. Watch and learn. Yeah, I mean, mm, that smells so good. I swear it is. Get all that good in there. Yes. Yes. Get all that goodness right there, boy. Tell me. Good eating. Good eating. Whole fried catfish coming your way. Well, coming my way, I don't know. You got to go get your own and cook yours and then it to be your way. But this right here is going to be coming my way in a second. And I'm going to tear it down <laughs> with my hot sauce. I'm going to eat that up. And I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> right now, I'm going to flip that sucker one more time. Well, two more times actually because I'm going to flip it like that. One more time, get a little flip, flip. Get this one a little flip, flip, you know what I mean? Now look at this. I don't know if y'all see how pretty that shit looks, but it's pretty. But hey, you can do this too. All you gotta do is cook. Anybody can cook. Well, I take the back. Some people can't cook. I don't know. Yeah, that's looking pretty tasty. I'm going to cook it till I feel like it's done. Whenever I say so. Whenever I feel like in my heart it's done is when I'm going to say it's done. Right now, I don't say it's done. Not yet. It ain't going to be burnt. Bet you that. It's still going to be golden brown. But because it's whole catfish, I want to make sure it's done. I can't take that chance of cooking and it don't be done, you know? It's going to be done. It's going to be tasty. I'm going to eat it with my hot sauce. Actually, I'm going to fry some fried green tomato. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a separate video, but I'm going to fry some fried green tomatoes and let y'all see how those do. Because those I cook a little bit, like similar, but a little different. Yeah, this going to be tasty. Because I got some good old fried green tomatoes. I've been ready to, you know, cook up so I can eat up. I'm going to mess them up. Sure am. Because this going to be yummy in my tummy. And I like tasty. I'm thinking about it. Let me see how hard it is. I really can't tell. It feels like it's still soft. I want it to kind of be crispy, so it ain't hard enough for my liking. I don't want it like rock hard, but yeah, I want it crispy enough. I feel like it's some golden, you know, land crispy, crispy fish. Not no nasty fish. It's doing its thing, I'm gonna let it do its thing, you know what I'm saying? Let it do its thing and get it right. Cause at the end of the day, this fish is gonna be fire, fire. And we all know that it's gonna be fire, fire. And it's gonna be like real pure pressure. So good. I already know. I already know. I can tell, I didn't get flipped this one again. I can tell you, see like it's oozing. It ain't cooked enough because it's still doing that oozing on this side. It ain't doing what I want to do. It ain't fried hard enough. It's still kind of soft. It's very soft like this. I don't like that. I want it crisp. Take it right now. It's hard enough on this side. I can tell. I can tell. Right here is hard, but right here is still soft. I'm going to keep flipping it until I get it the way I want it. Once I get it the way I want it, shoot. Show you what it really do like. Yep. 
And you ain't even gotta have the stove turned up real high, cause you don't need it high. You need it like on, like on, like a little bit over medium, almost like medium. Look, look at just like I got mine on six right now. It ain't on high. Now I'm gonna flip it again, give it another toss, cause it still ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's still oozing, can't have it oozing. I need you to be like, on point. No oozing, no oozing, no oozing, no oozing. Mm. That's looking good though, it's looking good. Man, I can't wait to eat this fish. I hate I can't put all three of them in there, boy. I did that. Let me see. Right here, still soft. Right here, why is it still soft right there? I don't even know. Like right here, it's getting like different. Like right here, still like so. I think that's because it got like that little piece of skin right here. But once I actually take it out of the grease, it actually harden up anyway. But as long as I don't see no oozing, I'm going to be content with it. But right now, I ain't completely content. Not yet. I will be in a minute. I can tell it's getting there to the point where I'll be content. You know what I'm saying? I'll be content in a second. I'm going to leave it on this side for like one more minute or so. And then after that, to flip it one more time. And I think I'm going to be done with it right there. Because it's almost where I need to be. And that's for sure. And that's what you get like this. No more minutes. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Flip it. Okay, okay. Flip it. Mmm. Y'all don't even know. Cause y'all in right here, y'all don't smell what I smell. It smells so good. Shoot. I just thought I was at a restaurant for a second there, boy. It smells so good. It's gonna be tasty and I already know it. Get that little fin with it. Get off my fish. It's a little piece of the fin I don't want on there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so good. I might give it one more time inside. I feel like I made a pierce it and now it's bubbling up with like a little. Man, this stuff is getting golden, perfectly golden. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah. This is what I call good eating right here. Good eating right here. To come back and show you guys in just a second what it looked like. Just a second. Okay, guys, I'm about to actually take it out of the grease. And I'm gonna see what it do. See what it do, what it do. Take it one more time, even though I need to, because I'm being extra because I can, you know. And then I'm about to pull it out of the grease. I think I'm gonna take this one out. I don't know if y'all can see how pretty that is. Whole fried catfish. Let's take a look, guys. Whole fried catfish. That's what we're working with right here. I'm gonna let y'all see it better when I put it on a plate. But, let's take this one out. I didn't notice that this one was a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Not too much bigger, but it's a little bit bigger, so I'm, that's why I'm keeping this one in just a little bit longer. But it's got it ready. Golden fried catfish. Okay. 
Don't play with it. Don't play with it. You know? Don't play with it. It's it's for real. Now, let's put the other one in the pan because, you know, she ready to go in there too. Like I said, put the head part. That used to be head part where the head would have been first. And then you just lay it down real easy and it's not going to splat on you if you do it that way. And always about how you lay that mold in there because, boy, it will pop. Took me a while to learn that. <laughs> I should just throw some stuff in the top. I'm recently jumping back. Quick. Like an idiot. Well, you ain't got to do all that. It ain't that deep. Right now, got some catfish right here. You did. You got the catfish right here. I don't know if y'all can see how pretty that is. They perfectly cook. Mm. They're going to be perfectly in my mouth. Mm. They crispy, they red. Red. I just bent it a little bit and it kind of broke it a little bit, but it's cool. It still look good. They still perfectly golden. No, if you can see, but if you can't see, you about to see. Perfectly golden. Perfectly golden catfish. Get a good glimpse. y'all what this looking like when you actually about to eat it that piece that's already broken anyway i'm gonna show you that one because i'm about to finish this video i just want to show y'all how i cook my catfish so mm, this is the piece that got broken so no if y'all can see how hot and woo, flaky that is. Mm. That's good. Woo, hot. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, hot. Actually, 
And with the whole catfish shit, I could have added some salt in this mug and it would have been all right, but it's still good. I still taste a little seasoning, but I could have put more flavor on this one, but the, with the, some reason when I cook the fillets, it just overly powery when I put any extra season. I don't know why. But, um, anyway, guys, I'm about to end this video. I just want to show y'all my catfish. About to end this video. Love you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Comment below. And, till next time, have a good day.